Today we're going to be talking about the new Brazilian Netflix comedy Carnival and talk about if it's worth your time. So let's get started. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Justin. I love to watch movies. If you guys love to watch movies too and Netflix, you guys are in the right spot. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and click that bell notification for more up and coming content. After a breakup, an influencer takes her friends on a free trip to Bahia's vibrant carnival where she learns life's just not about social media likes. Four friends win a free trip to a vibrant carnival. The main friend here is a social media influencer. She wants to have a million followers on Instagram. She is all about stories and product placement and everything about social media to the point it really affects her relationships with her three friends. The synopsis really gives away like the main message of the movie that social media is not the most important thing and the friends right in front of you, you need to have that friendship and not worry about like social media and all the attention from that when you have the attention from your friends right in front of you. I found Carnival to be incredibly flat. I mean, it's a good looking movie uh, and there is a strong message within it, but I felt like the core group of friends and the main girl Nina and her obsession with social media and her realizing things about her friends and all the other characters that are introduced, I felt like it was just incredibly flat and there wasn't a lot of development that went into their storyline. Now, I did feel like the four friends uh, were a little bit different from each other, which made their core group of friends, um, you know, feel very unique and honestly a little bit realistic too. They did feel like friends. I will give this movie that is that uh, I enjoyed watching them four together. They all seemed like strong friends. Some friends didn't have the strongest storyline. Some really had the bulk of the movie. We had one friend who was a gamer and any time that someone wanted to talk to her, she asked she asked them what were the three balls from Quidditch from Harry Potter or how fast the DeLorean had to go to go back in time. Um, questions about pop culture and everything because that's what her interest was. Whereas another friend uh, was afraid to go to this carnival because when she was younger, she went to something similar and got lost from her family. And so she has all this anxiety surrounding the carnival. I felt like that storyline was severely underdeveloped and it was just there. There was really nothing to some of these characters. My problem with some of this movie is towards the end of the film where we kind of start to have this realization of what social media is and how it is affecting certain relationships. But the movie is also trying to add on other characters and their stories as well when they don't feel very important to the story and the initial setup for the film. There's this young girl who's also a social media influencer and Nina really looks up to her and she says some things on the television and people start to hate her and so we focus a lot on that and how she has this backlash. We also focus on this guy who is um, really big pop star and Nina wants to get really close to him so she can gain that million subscribers. Their storylines, uh, they devoted a lot of time to it, which was surprising to me when it easily could have focused a lot more on the four friends that were starting to butt heads towards the end of the movie. And that's where the message was starting to come in that, hey, Social media is not that important. We need to be friends and uh, pay attention to how your friends are feeling. That easily could have been a moment that could have been strengthened. Instead, they gave a little more time to other characters that never felt very important to the story or weren't even likable characters in the first place. Because I like the four friends. They all are enjoyable characters despite social media obsession and neglecting certain feelings of friends. I did like each one of these characters in their own way. But the film forgot its main setup in the beginning, the four friends and social media. But then it started to focus on some of these other characters towards the end. I just did not care about one bit. And it really took away from developing and ending the movie in a way that really strengthened their friends. They tried to wrap up their storyline and send this message across and have the friends all 
be happy with each other, but it all kind of wrapped up fairly quickly. If you got rid of certain moments, you could have had a little more developed that could have made it stronger throughout and made a more solid ending instead of something that felt fairly quick. Overall, Carnival, it felt fairly fast, a really short film. Uh, the core group of friends, I did enjoy them together. Very vibrant, upbeat kind of movie. The soundtrack is very loud and vibrant and fits the overall tone of the movie. There's just some choices along the way that I just really didn't agree with when it came to certain characters and certain storylines that really didn't offer much to the movie. I'm gonna go ahead and give Carnival a C plus. Thank you guys for checking my review for the new Brazilian Netflix comedy. Have you guys seen it by chance? What do you think about it? Let me know in the comment section down below and stay tuned for more up and coming content. My name is Just Watches Movies and you guys stay classy YouTube.